Good afternoon. I'm back in the camper van, the mobile studio. It's pretty cold outside. And if you're a, if you're a genuine van lifer, uh, as opposed to me who just spends the occasional uh, few minutes in his camper van on his driveway, then uh, it's pretty, pretty cold and pretty stormy out there. So I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're wrapped up warm, and I hope you're huddling around uh, an iPad or a computer or your phone. And you're getting to watch a few YouTube videos and perhaps even tune into one of mine. So what are we doing today? Well, I thought we'd do uh, a little video about some collapsible products and seven collapsible products that I think are particularly useful in the camper van, even though I don't spend any much, very much time in the camper van. Some of them you may be familiar with and some of them may be new to you. Now, I'm, I'm been lucky because I'm, I'm new to this game. I'm not particularly well known. I haven't got a particularly big camper van channel. Unlike some of the people you may well know, Life is Too Short, Yorkshire Pop Top Adventures, John and Mandy, some of those. But a number of companies have reached out to me and they've said we want you to showcase some of our new collapsible products so not all of them have been specially given to me but a few of them have i'm going to start off with one of the ones that you're probably already familiar with if you're a, a camper van or a caravaner and that is if i can find it here yep it's a collapsible kettle i'm sure you've seen this before uh, here is here is the lid. The lid is not collapsible, but the kettle itself is made of a sort of combination of steel and uh, this kind of rubber or silicon stuff. Uh, here's the handle. The handle is not collapsible either. And the way it works is you put your water obviously in the kettle. You put the lid on. You boil your kettle. You make your cup of tea. You're finished with the water, and then you collapse the kettle down like that, and you can put it in your cupboard so it seems like a pretty smart idea to me uh, if I were you I wouldn't try and collapse it while it's still got boiling water in because that does not work particularly well and you're likely to end up pretty damp with hot water down your front so I wouldn't do that little health and safety tip for you there now the next one is one of the new products one of the special new products I don't know if I can find it here yep and it is a collapsible spoon and this is the the kind of full size spoon this is a, a dessert spoon size very useful in the camper van i think you'll agree but it can be a little bit big so what you want to do is to collapse it down and that way you can get one of these which is the collapsed version and this is still a dessert spoon, but it's a lot smaller. As you'll know, if you're in the camper van, or if you're like me, you want to shed a few pounds, one of the way to do it, one of the best ways to do it is have a smaller plate with therefore a smaller portion of food and have a smaller spoon, because that way, you see, you're going to eat less. So there's the collapsed version. Uh, obviously, it's, it's small what happened there i think there's some poltergeists in my van um it's small and it can fit into your cutlery drawer or whatever but when you want to take it out and you want to have a big spoon because who doesn't need a big spoon in their life then there we are you've got the uncollapsed version and i think that's a pretty good pretty good thing to have the next one is uh well again you may be familiar with and this is what we call a collapsible towel and here is the collapsed version. And uh, what you do to uncollapse it is you basically uncollapse it like this. And what you end up with uh, is something a bit like a matador's cape. Now, obviously there aren't any matadors left anymore. They've all been made redundant um, because there aren't any bullfights. So they're not gonna have these kind of capes anymore. But if you were thinking of uh, retraining perhaps you're following some of the advice of the government you think it's a good idea to retrain one of the things they suggest uh, if you're a, a, an IT worker or, or perhaps you're in a, a care profession something like that that isn't needed anymore then what they say is you can retrain and perhaps you want to retrain as a, as a matador now you may go to to a bullfight in some of the countries where bullfights are still still going on I can't remember one offhand Iceland is it no no I don't think it's Iceland Norway 
no it's not Norway anyway wherever it is you might get into the bullwing and if there are any people there apart from the bull there probably won't be but let's say you've forgotten your your cape and you go up to somebody in the crowd and you say yeah you don't happen to have a spare matador's cape do you and they say well no we don't I'm afraid but I have to have a collapsible towel and you say well can I borrow it and there you are your problem is sorted now once you've finished with your uncollapsed towel which is what this is then the way to collapse it is to do uh, something that they used to do in the, in the Blitz and, and they did a lot of training around this so if you ask your grandparents uh, because this is called folding right? it's not taught in schools anymore but the way it works is you take something and you fold it up and that way you make it smaller i.e. collapsed and then you can put it in this handy handy stuff sack here you can do the zip up and there you are you've got a collapsible towel or a collapsed towel fits nicely into your camper van so i think that's a pretty good idea moving on um this is one that you may also be familiar with because this is a collapsible saucepan in a, a rather attractive blue color there other colors are available uh, not sure what they are but i like the blue uh, I haven't bought the lid because the lid isn't collapsible and I didn't want to confuse you. But with the saucepan itself, uh, you, you put your stuff in the saucepan. What more would you put in a saucepan these days? Um, potatoes, uh, baked beans, perhaps. Yep, you cook them up and there you eat them. You're finished with your bowl and then you can, you can collapse it like, like so. And I think that's a pretty good idea. Just, just reminding you, don't do as as I suggested with the kettle don't collapse the saucepan while it's still got the food in it because that's just likely to lead to a lot of mess so collapsible saucepan you may have seen me on one of these before I think they're pretty useful uh, if I ever actually go out in my camper van I'm gonna try this because I like the sound of this one it's gonna fit nicely into my collapsible cupboard which I've had installed as well as with everything by the way in this particular video so let's move on now to one of my uh, favorite products and uh, sorry it's, it's uh, rather fallen down and what this is is a it's a collapsible ipad so you'll be familiar uh, with the ipad the other tablets are available and you go into your camper van and you watch your video perhaps you watch one of julian's youtube videos and then you've had enough of that you need the extra space in the camper van perhaps you want to get undressed and go to bed and you think well that's really taking up a bit too much space so what i need is to collapse it well now apple have introduced a collapsible ipad so i've collapsed it down and now here it is as you can see it's down to a pretty small size even fits in a pocket fits in a, one of the smaller collapsible cupboards and i think that's a pretty good idea so there's the collapsed version okay if you're confused and you want to see the uncollapsed version here it is you've got a full-size iPad now this is available uh, from the Apple from the Apple shop and if you put in the special code you need to go to the section of the website it's not easy to find but if you look up there it's on the top right hand corner I've made a link to it uh, it's www.apple.com collapsible iPad.com.julian.com and if you put in the special code which is Julian 110 you'll get a hundred and ten percent off your first order so long as the value isn't greater than 10 pounds which doesn't actually cover the cost of the iPad but some of these codes they work like that don't they so the collapsible iPad I think that's one of the best of the newer products and you won't find this on any other camper van youtubers channel so you're glad you came to the right place come now to again one you've probably seen before and this is a collapsible bowl so this is a bowl this is the collapsed version okay so as you can see it's uh, it's about that is it about that high and about that wide now one of the things about a collapsible bowl which i'm entirely happy about when it was sold to me as a collapsible bowl it collapses in terms of uh, depth as you can see so this is the depth uncollapsed sorry this is the depth collapsed 
and this is the depth uncollapsed as you can see it's now that deep which is quite a lot more but the actual width do you, do you know what I mean width or length now I'm not sure what it, if you've got something circular which is which this is is that distance across there is that the length or is that the width or is that the radius or is it the diameter long time since I was at school anyway the length as you can see or the width whichever one it is is the same when it's uh, uncollapsed and when it's when it's collapsed now I thought um, that you would start off with a bowl of kind of this size and when you collapsed it down it would be you know it'd be that kind of size but about the size of an egg cup but that actually hasn't happened with that because I'm working uh, in my camper van um, as as we speak in fact I'm working in my camper van with a couple of my assistants and we're trying to come up with a new design of a collapsible bowl which will collapse not just in terms of depth but it will collapse in terms of length width diameter radius whatever you want to call it so there's a collapsible bowl you can get those in many of the uh, the outdoor shops and I think you can get it on Amazon as well as you can buy everything else from Amazon now my last product and this is a true original this product and I'm pretty Pretty excited about this and what this is is collapsible water okay and the way it works is you you buy a bottle like this okay you buy the special collapsible bottle and you've got as you can see a, a full bottle of water but that isn't necessarily that convenient when you're in the van and when you're short of space what you need to do is you want to compress all the water down into a smaller uh, smaller volume a smaller packet D does that make sense so i've done that with one of these and a bit like blue peter here's one i did earlier so here you can see i've collapsed it right down uh to about two inches of water so we started off with uh, i think it was 75 uh centiliters i don't know what that is in what in uh, um, inches or miles or whatever it is not sure about that so we started off with 75 liters and i've i've compressed it in in my special water compressing machine which is available from my web shop and i've got it down to about two inches of water now you can either buy uh, the special the, the special collapsible bottles and obviously that's that's what they're like here in the uncollapsed version and um, and then it'll you, 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 it'll collapse down in the bottle just when you you turn the handle here you turn it to the left and it'll it'll compress the water or if you buy the special collapsible water machine which is available from my web shop 999 pounds 99p a little bit more in the united states and rather rather more expensive in france for reasons i'm sure you'll understand uh, you'll be able to make your own collapsible water and the way the way it works i haven't got one here at the moment it's, it's currently in the house doing it's doing its business but the way it works is you, you plug it in it does take quite a lot of electricity and you put you put your water in at, at the top i'm having to try and call it kind of illustrate this so i hope you'll you, you sort of pour the water into a kind of funnel at, at the top and what comes out at the bottom is a a smaller compressed amount but it's four times heavier so it does take it does take more weight in your van but it takes up much less volume so it will fit very nicely into your collapsible cupboard now when I ordered my camper van I said, can you make me a couple of collapsible cupboards? Uh, I'd also like a collapsible bed. I'd like a collapsible steering wheel. I'd like collapsible seats. And I've got a collapsible toilet. The only trouble with the collapsible toilet is that the, the receptacle for your number twos, and we all know what number twos are, don't we? Some of you might even be doing number threes, but I haven't reached that stage in life yet. So number twos, okay, the, the receptacle for the number twos, because they're sort of... the collapsible toilet has collapsed down to a pretty small size uh, is pretty small and you fill it up after you've done about half a dump now you may be one of those people uh, who can get two dumps into into a space that's about the size of this lens cap here but for many of us uh, me included that's just not enough it's about half a dump's worth so they're going to have to do uh, a bit of work on that but all the rest of the stuff that I asked for to be collapsible in the van uh, has has been designed to collapse around me so what happens is 
if I'm not using the van, uh, I can press a series of buttons and then there's a lot of kind of whirring and, and buzzing sound and then it, it collapses right down uh, to a kind of dinky car size, which I think is really clever. And then you can you, you press the buttons again and it blows up, if you imagine, kind of like inflates to a proper camper van size and then I can go off and explore the country like a proper hashtag van lifer, which I'm not really. So there's uh, seven of some of the best collapsible products on the market. As I said, some of them you may be familiar with, some of them you may not be familiar with, but if you go to my web shop, uh, which is on my website, uh, just next to my uh, YouTube channel, and you put in the special code www.juliansweb.shop. I want to get these special collapsible deals. Dot com forward slash. Why can't I have them now? Do you deliver by tomorrow? I hope you got all that. Uh, make sure you put the punctuation in the right place. Otherwise, I'm afraid it won't work. And then you can you can get these products for yourself, and it will improve your van life no end. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. I do want to remind you, by the way. Uh, if you do enjoy my videos, you can like, you can subscribe, uh, you can uh, tell your friends, you can post it on your own uh, YouTube channel or Instagram or something like that. But please do remember that my videos raise money for the Vine Food Bank, which is in Croydon in the United Kingdom. So everyone, every time you sit through one of my videos or you sit through one of the adverts, you are helping to raise money for people who are less fortunate than ourselves. So there we are, the Julian's choice of the best collapsible product on the market. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Next time.